Hi, I'm Todd Heike. I'm the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's two-minute fishing report. Well, folks, not much activity fishing-wise this past week, thanks to the good old Mother Nature turning on the wind machine, especially this weekend. Uh, that definitely impacted the number of people that were going out, especially on the river. Really, there's not much open water around the area. Still a lot of lakes, uh, let's say north of Highway 14, are still ice-covered, uh, or at least have a moving ice sheet on them. Areas uh, to the south have open water, but the docks aren't in. So, uh, you know, if you're thinking about uh, doing some shore fishing, you can probably do that uh, around area lakes such as uh, Twin, Beaver, uh, also Island, um, a little bit at Madison, and then also Diamond. But the Missouri River seems to be the trick right now. That, that's where everyone is going. A lot of people are catching fish out there. Uh, even with the wind, uh, guys were able to tuck in uh, out of the wind a little bit and still catch fish. Now, what guys have been doing to catch those walleyes, been a lot of jigs and minnows. Jigs and plastics seem to be doing the trick. Plus, as I'm going to talk about in Todd's Tackle Tips, guys are starting to catch them from shore as well, and we'll talk about it on how to do it in Todd's Tackle Tips. As I mentioned in the report section, this week in Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to talk about fishing the Missouri River from shore because uh, beginning from here on out, the shore bite is only going to get better. A lot of guys have been going out there, and now the past couple of days, uh, there's been some signs that the shore bite is starting to pick up. Despite the, water, the cooler water temperatures out there yet, again, it's only going to get better. Uh, and honestly, as the spawn really gets going, uh, there's nothing like fishing the rocks on the Missouri River uh, during that time frame. What are guys doing? Uh, what's uh, the trick to catching walleyes out there? A lot of guys right now are throwing jigs and plastics, uh, also a few crankbaits. But honestly, when you're talking about uh, in the heat of the spawn, there's nothing better than a floating uh, stick bait, such as the original floating wrap is one. But a new one on the market that I want to draw your attention to is the Berkley Hit Stick. Uh, these things are going to really light things up. And honestly, uh, if you've seen these around the area, you know that they're going to be a great lure to use on the Missouri River. Also, you can use it in the summertime and troll with them. But right now, uh, this time of year, it's going to be a great stick bait to use to fish along the rocks. Honestly, supply is you know, available right now. But in, uh, let's say, another week or two, who knows what the, the supply is going to be. So I would encourage you that if you're thinking about fishing the rocks and you want to use the Berkeley hit, hit Sticks, make sure you stop by here at the store and pick them up or order them online at dakotaangler.com because supply is going to be difficult uh, to come by over the next couple of weeks. So, again, all you have to do is use the hit stick or the original floating wrap and cast it along the shore and just slowly bring that in, and you'll notice that the, the walleyes will hit it all, almost all the time, especially in the heat of uh, the spawn. So again, uh, anything that floats, like stick bait, is going to be lethal uh, for the, the spawn walleye bite out, uh, bite out on the Missouri River. So again, if you have any questions about either one of those baits, don't hesitate to stop on by and uh, ask myself or ask any of the employees, uh, because we use them all the time. Again. Original floating wrap, and then also new this year, or new in the fall, but new for the spring, is the Berkeley Hit Stick, and I can guarantee you it's going to be a hot one. Usually at this point of the video, we take a look at a few photos that uh, people sent in to us, but the uh, way the weather has been and in between seasons, we didn't receive any photos this week anyway, but if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the 2-Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. And folks, before we end this week's report, I want all of you to mark your calendars for April 9th through the 10th. 9th and 10th, it's Berkeley Days here at Dakota Angler once again. After a year's absence, after COVID last year, we're excited to bring it back again. So April 9th and 10th, Berkeley Days right here at Dakota Angler in Sioux Falls. We're going to have a number of specials uh, on dealing with uh, Berkeley plugs, uh, selecting Berkeley plugs, uh, as well as a free line winding on any combo that you buy. Uh, plus, Brad Durick is going to be on hand here both days to talk about catfishing. So, again, mark your calendars. Let your friends know. Stop on by here at Dakota Angler, Mark, April 9th and 10th for Berkeley Days, once again here at Dakota Angler. If you have any questions about that, give us a call at 605-336-9132. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the 2-Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next week, and again, thanks for watching. Stay healthy and stay safe.